Guys, I'm gutted I didn't get this on the footage because it's always quite early to tell me going from this great slow up shot this but just made my first purchase. Ninja Turtles board, how cool is that? I was wondering what the hell them I thought are they shoe bags? It's because of their feet, they are like that, aren't they? So uh, yeah, really nice. It just needs a nice clean up. for them each? Well, I don't know. God knows. I'll look for them. Alright. Did you do quid each on them? Yeah. 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 I'll just double check them. You haven't got a spare carry bag, have you, please? I forgot oh, yeah. mine today, don't matter if not. I've got a spare carry bag. That's all right, I'll just take that to the car. That's all right, mate, cheers anyway. I usually have them, I've forgotten this morning. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven here. Yeah, uh, seven right. quid, all right. Six, seven. There you go, mate. Cheers. Six, seven. Thank Thanks a lot. Much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take that for a quid, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Just get the money. Yeah, it's all right. Thank Thanks very much. much. What is going on, guys? And welcome to the latest car boot video game hunting and pickups video. We are back in the gaming cave after another wicked car booty. We got some decent finds on this one. Some really nice CEX trade fodder towards that retro gold that CEX can provide us with, which we cannot really find out in the wild that's the beauty of cx trading after i've showed you guys our car boot pickups from this last sunday's car boot i'm going to show you guys some nice local pickups i made from the facebook marketplace so first thing i bought at the car boot didn't get this on the footage unfortunately guys because dopey me forgot to um charge the gopro and everything the night before i was working the night before i was working like days like leading up to the sunday i always make sure i have some days off so i can car booty and then nap afterwards <laughs> and then you know hopefully record videos and edit footage and things like that sunday's kind of my car boot gaming related catch-up day basically um so yeah i was trying to conserve battery and honestly usually it's really slow at first at the car boot quite slow for the first few rows and everything but um yeah i actually found some really early on really nice retro pickup this is and unfortunately i'm sorry guys my gopro was not on at this point so it's a real shame that i didn't get this on footage but still i got the pickup anyway so i'll show you guys what it is it is guys some retro ninja turtles teenage mutant hero turtles back then before it turned into ninja turtles and we've got Raphael on the front and the famous line cowabunga it says, I think it's on the back actually, um, I'm trying to think where it says it, I found it somewhere, let me show you the back, that is wicked, Raphael was always my favourite as a kid as well, and I also love like, I love the, the footprints, they're just like turtle footprints, <laughs> yeah there we go, it says 1990 on that. that, this is like older than me, I was born in 93 and this is from 90, so yeah this is older than me. I don't feel like um, it actually does it justice, to be honest. It's a bit more darker in person if you see it. It's, it's quite bright because I'm kind of in front of the, the light at the minute. But, um, yeah, I've baby wiped it and, um, yeah, just cleaned it up a little bit. But it definitely needs, like, a further clean. Um, obviously, it's got some wear to it and everything. It has been used and everything. You can see on the wheels and all that. It's even still got, like, little bits of 
you know, like the the plasticky bits. They didn't remove that very well when they bought this. They was probably too stoked to go and skate on it. Um, yeah, it's just like there as well. Just some plasticky bits that need removing. And yeah, I'm going to give it another nice clean up. So this is actually for the collection for display. Uh, I won't be skating on it. Skating, that was like back in my day. Back in my childhood years, I did used to skate. Um, yeah, I, I can still, I'm pretty confident I could still do an ollie. Could still do that, I reckon. Um, yeah, I did a kickflip once as a kid. Could never land it again. Never managed to do it again. I was gutted. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm not the best skater at all. So this is for display. Because I've got some really nice um, retro turtle stuff. I've got the retros um, NES variant. I've got some sealed Raphael seller tape. Um, I have a really nice um, turtles handheld game as well. So yeah, this will go with them in my uh, really nice turtles display. So I was buzzing to find that. Really obscure to find really nice retro things like this. Especially turtles as well. So first pickup is older than me <laughs> onto the games guys literally i think all of these are for cx yeah they literally are it's a shame um it's really cool when i can find like actual retro stuff like you know such as that for the collection really nice to come across retro but it, it doesn't happen like that often at the car boot did miss out on a couple of really nice things I, i'll tell you guys now we'll get that out of the way with show way yeah we'll get all the, the sad news out of the way with um so yeah, um, I did miss out on uh, a white PSP. What it was, I'll, you know, story time, guys. So, yeah, I, I asked at this car because I thought I saw something in, like, in the boot. I thought I saw green in there. <laughs> so I thought Xbox, maybe. I said, you got any games at all? Because I, I think I've kind of seen something. Um, yeah, and it was a, a couple. And the guy said, yeah, yeah, I've got 360 games. I said, all right, cool. I said, can I have a look? And he was like, yeah, when we get to them sort of thing. Um, you know, they're, they're a bit kind of buried and stuff and so him and um, the woman they was digging out like all baby stuff and like folding them out and everything I, I was like waiting for ages. I was waiting for ages guys for these 360 games to come out I thought they better be decent, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, as I was waiting for them um, yeah, saw one of the um, resellers at the car but he picked up a white PSP so I'd missed out on that unfortunately and yeah, basically what happened later on um, this is a really weird thing, not knowing what you should do. It's really weird. So um, I also asked this other car. Um, I've, I've been quite persistent, really, um, in asking about games. I haven't really held back. If I, if I think like the mind have games or if I see something in the car, I haven't held back from asking. You've got to be persistent to make these pickups. Uh, so, yeah, I asked the guy, said, you got any games? He said, yeah, I've got Wii games. I said, right, OK. Um, I said, uh, you know, can, can I have a look at them? And... Uh, him and the woman said, um, this this was obviously another person, uh, so they said, um, he said, oh yeah, I think they're a bit buried. She was like, yeah, they're like buried, you know, the way at the bottom and whatever. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I'll, I'll just check back in a minute then, okay. So um, I literally turned my back for like two seconds. The reseller just had them all in his hand. Um, I, I didn't see exactly what he bought, but um, I saw a couple of games. He had Mario Kart and Mario uh, Pi 8. And the guy was asking three quid a game. Which, you know, it's not bad, but um, could class it as kind of higher pricing. Um, the reseller tried to barter him down, he wasn't having it. So, you know, he, he ended up having to pay like three quid per game. But yeah, it, it's really annoying. I literally turned my back for like two seconds, then that was it. And I thought, damn it. <laughs> like, you know, when you ask for things and it, you still get beat to them. So yeah, it's really weird. Two different scenarios there. I was waiting ages for the 360 games. I ended up obviously getting to them. I did. Um, so I was waiting for them to come out. But then in doing so, I missed out on a white PSP. But then, you know, I asked about the Wii games. And then I think, right, I don't want to, you know, just be stood here for ages and ages. Like I was for the 360 games, miss out on something else. So then I just, like, say I turned my back for like two seconds. Didn't get anything. You know, wander back to the store. Like, I literally wasn't even that far from it at all. Reseller just had them on his hand. It's really, really frustrating. Difficult to know what to do, really, guys. You know, do you stay and wait? for some games that you know are going to come out or do you go wandering around in search of something else and then wait but the thing is i should have really kind of just waited around but it's just because i was waiting age for them 360 games and i knew i'd missed out on the white psp so i thought i could miss out on something better but yeah it's really difficult to just know what to do and be in all this place at once so yeah um Missed out on stuff like Wii games, missed out on the white PSP, which was a shame because later on in the car boot, 
uh, a girl had this on the stall and yeah so it's a white psp case that would have been really really nice nice little slip case um i said you got any games or anything like that she said no not got anything with it no console whatever um and i said how much do you want she said 20p so yeah really nice white psp case for 20p so yeah i got that um, so it would have been a bonus if i'd have picked up that psp from the other store i think what most gutted me was i've missed out on a load of game boy games i'd already been to the store as well and asked if they had any games and uh, they had some 360 ps3 titles nothing too special or anything um i did buy one title from it so i bought the simpsons game um i got that for a quid uh, I believed it was like three or four quid trade and it, I've looked and it is three quid trade so three quid off a quid whatever it's profit I don't I don't mind too much so yeah got the Simpsons game on the DS so yeah as far as I was concerned no more games there wonder back a bit later some other resellers they had a load of uh, original Game Boy games and uh, there's nothing like Pokemon or anything like that um I did see the woman, she knew that the Pokemon games were worth something. She had a, a GBA Pokemon, I can't remember which one. These were all carts only. I can't remember which one, but she took that out. She took away Pokemon Yellow as well. I believe, I'm sure I saw the Pokemon Yellow and it had an E on it, so it was American. Um, so, yeah, she was like, I need to contact my son to see if he actually wants to sell these ones. So, she, you know, she said, I know there's money in them. So, yeah, she took them away. You know, resellers had the uh, other Game Boy games. And, um, yeah, so... Basically, I was hanging around there because they was only an hour in at first whether to pick them up. So I was thinking, second, if they put them down, I'm having them straight away. There's basically 16 Game Boy games, cat only. She wanted 12 quid and uh, they was trying to batter her down to like tenner and everything. And she said no. And I, I was really hoping they'd put them down, but they didn't. They, they actually took them for 12 quid, which was, you know, still really nice. Um, saw a couple of the games um, as they was looking for them. There was stuff like Turok 3 and I saw Tom and Jerry... Didn't see any of one, so I don't know what else was in there. Really is a shame when I'd have appreciated things like that in my collection, but it's just the way it goes. So, yeah, they were basically a couple of things that I, I really um, was gutted not to pick up at the car boot, especially the Game Boy ones, because it's just the retro, isn't it? You know, it's, you don't come across it very often, so it's gutting to miss out on retro. It really, really is. But anyway, we look forward, you know. So, uh, yeah, load of CEX trade fodder here. So, I picked up... Um, this is actually for the collection, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I actually don't even own this. I uh, picked up copies before. I didn't know if um, it was worth anything. Um, yeah, came with one of them awful manuals <laughs> when they started doing all that. Hated that. Um, but, yeah, it's only worth, like, £1.60 trade, and I paid a quid. But I'm just going to keep it in the collection. There's no point in trading it, so... That'll go for my collection, because I don't already own it. Damien, G-Unit, G-G-G-G-Unit. You're going to appreciate these, man. <laughs> I bet all you got, you're getting sick of me doing this. <laughs> what a big gangster, honestly. Um, but yeah, some m m singles. I found these. And I found Wheat as Teenage Dirtbag single as well. I used to have this years ago. I got it from a charity shop years ago. Don't know where it ended up. So I would really like to um, own it again. So that's why I picked it up. There's, um, oh, there's some really nice uh, extra songs on it, yeah. So obviously you get Teenage Dirtbag. There's I'd Never Write a Song About You, that's good. And Hey Mr. Brown. That's how I knew about uh, Hey Mr. Brown especially. Proper cool, because when me and my Beth uh, met up like properly, I was persuading her to come to this Wheatus concert in Hull with me. Um, I actually only had one ticket, uh, like, for myself, like, cause I was just literally planning on going on my own, because, like, none of my mates were, like, free or interested in going or anything, so, um, yeah, and then I persuaded her to go with me, I was like, come with me, come on, it'll be awesome, um, so, yeah, I bought her a ticket, and then we both went, and we actually ended up meeting Brendan as well, the lead singer, on the way out, I'll show you a picture on screen, so that was absolutely wicked, I was proper, like, starstruck and everything. <laughs> Actually, I will show you what I bought from that gig as well. Yeah, I might as well dig this out. I've not showed this to you guys. So this is their uh, debut album, and it's all been, like, signed and everything. It's all in a nice little sleeve. Um, yeah, I actually bought this um, after the gig. I just had to get, like, a nice, uh, nice you know, memento souvenir. Um, trying to make it so you can see the songs. There we go. Some absolute wicked songs on there. So yeah, that was a wicked night, and it's awesome to get this to remember it by as well. So when I get the picture of me and Beth with uh, Brendan printed off, that'll be like on display with this and the single as well, so that'll be wicked. It's such a wicked memory. So the other two singles uh, that obviously caught my eye, two Eminem ones, 
So there's a Slim Shady single and Without Me. Nothing like new to me on there or anything, but I just want to obviously collect them because I just love collecting uh, his physical CDs. So yeah, Damien G, you know, I know I'll appreciate that. Um, Damien like comments like all my videos and yeah, he has good music taste. So <laughs> always shout him out when I find some Slim Shady stuff. I know he appreciates it. <laughs> so this next one, um, bit higher asking price is this, but yeah, it's this guy had some Wii stuff. Um, not any decent titles the only decent ones were like the sport ones so i said i'll have both the sport ones so there's the uh, wii sports resort in the big dvd case i think it's still worth about five or six quid as of now um the cardboard sleeves for both the sports and the um, wii sports resort they're awful at the minute they're literally two quid um but yeah for the dvd case you do still get a bit more i'm sure you do at the moment but yeah obviously car boot season the prices have gone the trading prices have gone right down for these so um i'll certainly be hanging on to these if it's still five or six quid for this one i will trade it in i reckon but yeah got these two um he also did have a wee console and everything didn't look in very nice shape it was all unboxed and everything i'd rather it be picking up like a decent condition boxed one if i do pick one up because i actually don't um own a like a box Wii. The only Wii I own is um, the uh, the Wii Mini, like the the red one. I'm sure I've showed it on a video in the past. Um, but yeah, that that's really nice. I, I absolutely prefer that over the Wii any day. Um, the Wii Mini, the really nice red one. I just love the appearance and everything of it. Um, so yeah, that's the only one that I own. So grab these. I think he wanted three quid a game, and then he said I'll sell one remote. I said all right then. So he wanted four quid for that. Oh, really nice. Really nice and clean and everything. Proper nice, that. But yeah, hear me out. I didn't pay full price. I, sa I said to him, I was proper like, mm, I was like that for ages. And I was like, I was thinking six for these. And then he was like, I'll do seven. So I said, yeah, it's all right. So to be fair, in the long run, that's actually not bad for these, you know, considering what they do normally trade for. So yeah, like I say, if that still held its value a little bit, I'll trade that in. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, keeping hold of them all for now, because there's just no point in trading them for now. Uh, yeah, remotes, I'm sure they're still about four quid at the minute, so still not great at all. So stuff like this, guys, do hang on to them. That's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> These next couple of pickups, got them both for a quid. Um, found this at first. It's a Minecraft bat. Um, I, I went through like a phase, it was ages ago, of like collecting like the old... Um, minecraft you know plushes um and i believe i don't have the bat so i just thought i'm just gonna grab it just to go with it um so yeah he originally wanted a quid and he wanted a quid for this other thing i'm about to show you it's really cool um but yeah i said we'd do a quid for both he said yeah which was cool so never get stressed at a car boot again a nice pac-man stress ball i proper needed it as well <laughs> this was after the psp why uh psp missing out on that so uh yeah <laughs> it was just a an impulse buy spare at the moment make a nice display piece but yeah if i need it nice stress ball for when you miss out on pickups this next one there's a load of ps3 games and i was like the last of the game hunters to go over and spot them everyone was like digging in them and everything uh, but yeah the guy was asking like three quid um a game and uh, yeah it just it just put people off really and half the games that they had like things like um minecraft on ps3 which is still decent trade that's still seven quid trade but it didn't have um, the right minecraft disc and it. it was the uh what what do you call it the story mode minecraft the one that returns like one pound 60 trade um and yeah loads of them were missing disc had the wrong one in uh so yeah everyone just cleared off and whatever and i, I was just hanging about i was just loitering you know what i'm like and uh yeah just dug in and saw this sega mega drive collection it trades for four quid and it actually had the right disc in i cheekily so cheekily said to the guy i was like will you do a quid on it he was like yeah so got that for a quid and it trades for four so not a bad little result there <laughs> better than paying three always ask guys don't actually don't get definitely um so yeah anyway the 360 games i was waiting for um pretty much worth it to be honest not too bad trade um credit just had to get the light on guys because the light out there's gone yeah not so good <laughs> so yeah um yeah these three six games not bad trade at all i've got up all the um trade prices on cx i can let you guys know so first of all we have lego batman 3 these are all immaculate all complete and discs are immaculate really nice condition so these will trade in no problem so 
Paid a quid each game, by the way. So, uh, yeah, that's three quid trade. The Sims 3, that is £4, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. This is six quid trade, so that's held up pretty well. Angry Birds Trilogy, four quid trade. Uh, this one isn't so good. Um, Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This is £1.60. But the other two... Uh, Danger of the Ooze, this is. And then this one's just Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one's £3. So for £7, guys, we've got £24.60 CEX trade credits. That's not bad at all. So, guys, local pickups from the Facebook Marketplace. Look at Holster's bag of tricks. <laughs> so you guys will know what these look like, but um, I'll, sh I'll just show you on screen anyway. So uh, these were originally um, in this bundle that I picked up, but um, these have gone to my Uncle Chaz. Um, I've already like got him like birthday presents um, for his birthday this week, but um, I've chucked these in because he's really wanted Mario Kart uh, Wii for ages. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd just chuck them in. So got, um, got that uh, Mario Kart Wii and the uh, wheel. And I also got, um, let me just show you guys, a couple of controllers and a couple of nunchucks. They don't do very well. They're literally at like £1.60 each um, credit. And then uh, one of the controllers came uh, with one of these protective cases. So the only thing with these controllers, both of them have the, um, like the chargey thingy, you know, like the charge back to them, uh, which CX don't accept, I believe. So, uh, yeah. They, they have two of them, uh, and then there was just like a random, you know, original back in the bag as well. So uh, they just need a nice clean up, but apart from that, um, you know, they, they look all decent and good to trade. So uh, yeah, I just need another back for the other remote, you know, obviously because they both came with um, the chargey thing is, and just one of them. So yeah, do need another back for the other remote. So yeah, I got um, all those for seven quid, so that's not bad at all. So that was a nice little pick up. Oh, there's another one of them protective things to the controller. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the next pickup cost me 30 quid. Was it worth it? I, I reckon so. It was about worth it. So, Connor kindly told me about this. Um, he said, you know, Gr Grimsby's like literally your area, isn't it? I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. So, he linked me to this. Um, some uh, advanced SPs. So, I'll show you the first one. So, uh, yeah, one of them came in this case. Because one of them's boxed, one of them's unboxed. So this one, I believe it's called the Flame Red PSP. So it's all really nice. Apart from, I'll show you guys the issue. When I went to pick them up, uh, the guy said, um, oh yeah, you know, uh, you read the description, didn't you? I was kind of like, uh, no. <laughs> and uh, he was like, the only thing with this red one, he said it's got a thin line down it. And he said there's a bit of white at the end of the uh, screen. And I was a bit like... Uh, okay, but obviously there's another boxed SP and uh, there's a few games, but they're like no good to me whatsoever I'll show you them in a minute. I think a few of them are like, copies as well. There was four games uh, But yeah, like I say no good at all nothing to be excited about but yeah um, I'll show you guys Let's see if you can see it Yeah, it's literally there we go. You can see it clear as day. Yeah, unfortunately like I say it really thin vertical line down it and then a white strip at the side. Um, yeah, this is Spider-Man 2, actually. I will actually keep this one, I reckon. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot about that one. That's probably the only one that I will keep. Uh, so, yeah, proper shame about that. Because apart from that, just needs a nice clean-up. And it's a really nice console, that. Um, I did contact Kev, um, Kevin Wolf 123 um, to see if he knows maybe how to fix it. Because he's, like, decent at fixing some stuff. Whereas I don't have a Scooby how to fix things at all. Don't have a clue. So, um, yeah, he, he did say open it up um, at the back. I have not got a screwdriver small enough for all, though. Like, you need a tiny, tiny one. So I need to um, maybe grab one off eBay uh, so, to open it up. He said you might need to... It, it's a certain part in it. He said you might have to wiggle it or something. It's, I don't know if it's to do with the contacts or something like that. I, I really don't know. But he said it might just be an easy fix. Or he said you might just need a new screen or whatever. Or like the screen could literally just be dead, you know, from just old age. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, real shame about that one. I, I'm not, yeah, sure exactly what I'm doing with it. Because obviously I'm going to have to get a screwdriver and open it up and then see if I can fix it myself. But if not... I think I'm pretty screwed with this, guys. I might have just to sell it on at a discounted price. I'm not too sure, but it's a proper shame because it is, it is a gorgeous colour. show you the really nice boxed one. 
it is what color is it arctic blue it says it is and i'm actually going to keep this for the collection yes the box is a little bit battered a little bit worse for wear but i'll try to smooth it out a little bit somehow because i think it'd be a shame to let this go really obviously it could use i could get like an upgrade could use an upgrade but um yeah i know it's a bit bashed in but i literally wouldn't mind keeping it to be honest so let's open it up and i'll show you guys the contents so it's already nice it's got the inserts in there it's got the charger obviously and it's got the paperwork the precautions and all that lot let's have a look it's a very nice sp catalog so it's just showing how you can connect it up and everything to like a gamecube and all that and then uh, there's some game advertisements on the back so it's always nice when you get these and then uh, yeah there's just the the standard instruction booklet that came with it and then the uh, precautions leaflet as well so yeah all the paperwork's there and it's all really nice um this is overall a pretty decent nick to be honest it's, it has got a few little cuts to it and everything but it's just due to wear and everything take this game out i'll show you the games in a minute um so yeah i think it's really nice and i'm actually going to keep it so nice to find I absolutely have so much love for the SP consoles. I, my favourite is the Tribal Edition. I've got a nice box Tribal. Absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, overall, it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of... Uh, you might be able to, yeah, just about see it. Just some little nicks there. Um, and that is literally about it. Just a little bit at the top as well. But, you know, they're that minor, really. You can't like obviously see them so i think that's not not a bad pickup really it's just really is a shame about the issue with the red uh, sp so uh yeah nice boxed sp for the collection this works absolutely fine as well but yeah unfortunately i didn't even like see the description like um i saw it like advertising everything i did scroll down as well like i scrolled down a little bit to see if there was any further writing but like nothing came up which was really weird but yeah i just didn't see it i didn't see in the description otherwise um I may have asked, obviously, for a cheaper price or, like, uh, or, uh, yeah, just to buy this one separate. But it, it's difficult when you stood at the door and then he says, oh, do you read the description? It's like, uh, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I say, I, I just jumped on that pickup. So I thought, if I don't jump on it right now, um, you know, someone else is going to get it. Because they don't last long round here at all. And then, um, yeah, just lastly, there's the, there's the charger, obviously, for the red one as well. Uh, so the games... Um, not really anything any good to me but um yeah there's spider-man 2 uh this one is clearly a copy um it's barnyard uh next one probably a copy i reckon again uh madagascar and the last one is starsky and hutch um i may like try and sell them on each for a couple of quid each or something but uh, if not it's no biggie i'll just keep these in the collection i reckon these two and then the other ones just give them away i think i'll put that in the little free box for when i'm next stalling <laughs> so the last local pickup guys i made this pickup last night some really nice ds games and um, there was a metroid Game Boy advance game um in there as well but uh, when i got to the woman's door she was like oh my son can't find the game she's like it's all there and everything but you can't find the game so i was like oh, okay so when um, she said um he's gonna look for it because he's, he's sure that he's seen the car around so uh yeah, should I'll get in touch if he manages to find it. So I might actually give her a message soon just to see if he did manage to find it. Because she wanted three quid a game. So that would have been even sweeter if I'd have got that um, Metroid uh, GBA game uh, boxed and complete. Let me just... I'll find out what it is exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, this one's worth a, a nice pretty penny. It, it genuinely was. It was this one. Metroid Zero Mission. It was that. And it goes for... I can't even get it to focus in. No, I can't. I'll have to get a screenshot. I'll get a screenshot, guys. So, CEX sell it for 55. Um, 31 cash trade and 38 trade credit. But I, I would have kept that for the collection. I definitely need to follow that up. Chase it up, see if she... Um, her son has found the, uh, the cat. That is such a shame. And it's currently out of stock as well. Yeah, it genuinely was that one. Um, if I can find the original listing picture, I will show you guys. But yeah, um, assorted DS games, uh, and that was the only GBA game. 
so she wanted three pound each so uh so yeah i asked for these specific games then shot around there picked them up so for 12 quid not bad at all so we've got metroid prime hunters these are all really nice condition all the manuals are there proper nice and complete um i believe cx sell this for six quid but it don't bother me because these are for my collection anyway so it's a nice price anyway next one i've actually not seen this one around it's yoshi touch and go and I think that's another that CEX sell for uh, like, like six quid, I think. Next one, guys. Crash Boom Bang. It's not meant to be very good, I've heard. Uh, it's basically a, a bad DS version of Crash Bash, apparently. You know, similar style to Crash Bash, apparently. Um, like I say, I've not played it yet or anything. But it's meant to be bad. But I've, I've actually got um, a case as well. I've, I got this for like a quid at one of the car boots. So... Uh, yeah, it's nice that I can put that alongside this as well. So, nice uh, DS case that is. That I've got lying around. So, uh, yeah, grab that. That's another game that CX sell for six quid. Uh, it's three quid trade. But don't bother me because obviously it's for the collection. However, the next one is for trade at CX. It's held up really well in value. New Super Mario Brothers. So, CX sell this for like 15 quid and it's nine quid trade. So, not bad at all there. So, again it's nice and complete so yeah that one is for trade and then the other three for the collection really nice additions to my uh ds collection i love titles like these i really like the shiny cover as well yeah you can see it's a bit shiny <laughs> so yeah not a bad pickup at all i haven't made any local pickups in ages then i made like three in the space of a couple of days which is wicked so yeah i'm always on the lookout for local pickups uh, so yeah, I've just got lucky recently, so really happy with these local pickups. So guys, that is it for this week's car boot video, game hunting and pickups video. And you've had some local pickups from the Facebook Marketplace thrown in there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed them as well, guys. So feel free to drop any comments in the section down below. And let me know what you've been picking up or what you've liked from this video. Always nice to have a chat with you guys. And as always, good luck car booting and video game hunting. I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care. See you in a bit.